Okay. G1 voltage. If you look on the second meter, there's our first one. It's at 6.3 volts for the heater volts. Okay, here's G1 voltage, which is on the green meter at the bottom. It's another scale. It says G1 volts. And uh, we're going to go ahead and turn the G1 knob, which is right there. We're going to take and turn it clockwise and watch this voltage go up to 50 volts. Let me make sure again. Yes, it says 50 volts. We're going up. Ooh, it jumps a little faster than the heater volts. We're going to stop right around 50 volts. And we're pretty much dead on 50 volts. Okay, go back to the instructions again. And I'm doing this all, you know, as per instructions, step by step. Just set heater to read specified heater volts. Set G1 voltage to 50 volts unless there's an asterisk. Check leakage lamps. Lamps will glow if leakage is excessive. HK leakage cannot be repaired. And uh, use isolation transformer for G1K leakage. Proceed to restore A. Okay, now we're going to look at our leakage lamps. We're looking right now and I don't see any leakage. Lamps are not glowing. None of them. So, I imagine that's a good thing. It says leakage heater and G1. No heater leakage. No G1 leakage. Sounds good to me. Uh, HK leakage cannot be repaired, it says. Sorry, I know this keeps blurring up on you. HK is, I guess, heater to cathode. Heater to cathode, uh, maybe a short, cannot be repaired. If there was a G1K leakage, then uh, it can do something about it. You can go to Restore A, which would try to fix that short, I imagine. Doesn't seem like there is because we have no, no leakage. As long as this meter is working fine and all the bulbs work. Okay. So let's go on down to the next step. Okay. Step two, set cutoff. Rotate function switch and set cutoff position. Okay, function switch, set cut off. All my meters drop straight down when I've done that. All of them are back down. Okay. It says meter may read zero or slightly above or below zero. Adjust each G2 control to add one division to reading of corresponding meter. Use G red G2 control for black and white tubes. If max G2 does not raise pointer, place G2 switch in high position. Okay, so we have to rotate each one. Let's see, set cutoff position. Meter may read zero or slightly above or below zero. Adjust each G2 control to add one division to reading of corresponding meter. To add one division. Okay, all of them are pretty much on zero. I'm going to add one division. Set cut off to add one division. So I guess we go up one mark. I'm rotating the first one, the red gun. Whoa, a little further than I wanted to go. Let me slow down a little bit. Okay. That's one division on that one. Here's the other one. Rotating the green gun. Whoa. Add one division. Okay, here's the blue gun. Rotating counterclockwise. Oh, excuse me, clockwise. And 
meter response we're going up one division there we go one division on the meter so all that's done and as far as one division that's all I can tell that it means the meters are broken down into divisions you know little lines and that's what I'm doing hopefully I'm doing it right I didn't go very far if I didn't so I <laughs> shouldn't hurt anything <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, it said if max G2 does not raise pointer, place G2 switch in high position. Well, we had it in normal position, and uh, it did raise them, so we didn't need to adjust to the high position. Okay. Step test three. Let's go down a little bit. Rotate function switch to test position. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're on the test position. And right off the bat, I can see every one of my guns are in the bad. And that pretty much explains what my problem has been with this tube. It has been very dim. This one's a little high in the bad. This one's extremely low and this one's almost the same spot. So all my guns are weak. The emissions are. Okay, we got in the test position. This is number one, emission. Okay. If all guns read in good region, emission are okay. If any gun reads bad, proceed to restore C. Okay, we're going to go down to restore C. Restoring the picture tube. Okay, we've got remove shorts, clean and balance, and since ours are all in the bad, we've got to go all the way down to rejuvenate, unfortunately. Okay. Rejuvenate. Select gun to be restored when emission is in bad region. Tracking cannot be corrected by clean and balance. Okay, ours is emissions in bad region. Set the function switch to rejuvenate. Rejuvenate instead of clean and balance. Okay, place rejuvenate, clean balance switch to rejuvenate. Set function switch to rejuvenate. Set rejuvenate, clean balance switch to rejuvenate. Wait, wait, wait. Uh oh. Hope I didn't hurt anything. We're still on test. Set set it to rejuvenate. It must be mean set to restore. Hope I didn't hurt anything, but still in test mode. Okay. Live and learn. But the, uh, okay, function switch. That's where I made my error. So set function switch to rejuvenate. It probably means the switch that we've just been flipping from uh, set cut off test, and it's got a restore position. Well, some of them must say rejuvenate. Ours says restore. So, let's see. We're going to go to set, set function switch to rejuvenate. We're going to set it to restore. Okay. All the meters that went down at the moment, they're waiting on us to press one of these individual buttons for the different colors. Okay, we're on restore. Now here's the switch. It says flip clean balance to rejuvenate. Or it says rejuvenate. It thinks that's rejuvenate and that too on this switch, but on my model this is restore and not rejuvenate. But I have both set there now. Okay. Okay. Wait 20 seconds. Push restore button directly under meter of lowest emission gun. Pointer will immediately rise. Hold button until a pointer begins to fall. Release immediately when pointer reaches 0.5 bad area. If pointer does not continue to fall, observe the G1K short lamp. Okay, guys, I'm going to break away, and I'll tell you what happens afterwards. Okay, guys, what I did is the green gun, if I remember correctly, it had the lowest emissions in the bad area. And uh, as you see now, the meter's up in the good area. What I had to do is to flip to the rejuvenate on both the... Uh, function selection switch and the clean balance slash rejuvenate which is right there had to flip over and then hold the green button for 
a few seconds and uh, it stayed with the meter up in the good range and it fell down and when it hit the bad range which is 0 0.5 according to the directions you're supposed to let off so when it hit I let off and now it says to return to the test position which we've done and let the meter reading stabilize and for a minute all three of these guns were herky-jerky and uh, the other two went back down to the bad where they were and the one that I did the restore function to is now in the good so that sounds great sounds like I fixed the green emissions so now we've got to go on after the meters have stabilized like they have and we have to do the other two guns. I'm going to let you see that on camera since I've done one. Uh, just give me a second to look at my, my PDF file if the laptop will not go off on me. Okay, uh, wait for reading to stabilize, repeat step two and three. If emission is now good, but further improvement of any gun is required for tracking or life test, use clean balance. If emission is still bad, repeat rejuvenate. Okay, so we're going to do the other two, which is, uh, we've got the rejuvenate switch still on, and I imagine they just tell you to flip it on and wait 20 seconds to make sure that it is in the rejuvenate mode. And as long as you're not holding these buttons down, you're not going to damage anything. It's sitting there waiting on us right now. It's not in the restore mode, it's in the test mode. So we're going to flip to restore mode. All the meters go down. And the next worst gun was the blue. It was down about as far as the green one was. And so now we're going to do the rejuvenation process. We're going to hold it long enough, the meter will go up and it'll start to fall. When it gets down to the edge of the bad area, 0 0.5, or in the bad area, we're going to release. So here we go. One, two, three. Okay, and we did. We released, and everything's been done for that one. And just like the notes say, doesn't take but just a few seconds. It says, uh, return to test, wait for readings to stabilize, repeat step two and three. Okay, here's our selector switch. I'm going to go back to test, but I'm going to move up to the meter so you can see what happens. Watch these meters as they try to stabilize. The blue one's still falling. It's, it's ooh, it's at the edge of the good range, but look at it, it's falling, trying to fall into the yellow. It's not in the bad, but it is it is on the edge of the yellow. Now the green gun stayed up in the good area. Wish this one would have too. And of course our red gun is still down in the bad. Very interesting. I think I've read where people have done this and some of their guns have been in the uh, yellow but uh, the monitor still is great afterwards and the notes say uh, if pointer does not continue to fall observe G1K short lamp there is no G1K short lamp uh, if, uh, if it glows remove short before proceeding um, if emission is now good, but further improvement of any gun is required for tracking or life test use, use clean balance. If emission is still bad, repeat rejuvenate. I don't guess we should repeat rejuvenate because uh, it's in the yellow area. It's not on bad. So maybe when we go to the tracking life test, we might do more to that. But let's do the last gun. We're back on the test. The meter readings have stabilized. We improved the green gun greatly. Blue gun somewhat. I'm going to go back to the restore procedure. I'm going to do the last gun. Same way we did last time. Press and hold it. When the meter goes up, we watch for it to fall. When it hits the bad area, we're going to release. Here we go. Okay. Fell pretty quickly. So we've done all three guns. I'm going to flip back to the test. I'm going to wait for the meters to calm down. Here we go, flipping to test. 